right. Let's see. Let's go. Let's go to Donna, shall we, John? Donna. Yeah, Donna. Donna has, Donna has a follow up. Um, so back in episode nine twelve, we were talking about Apple Maps suggestions, and Donna sent in a note. Um, for quite a while, I received Maps suggestions about where I might want to go. I typically notice it when I get in the car and CarPlay connects. It is a little weird, but it's often correct. There are some restaurants that we go to on a regular regular days for dinner, and I usually visit my mom in the evening. Interestingly, mom's suggestion is for the high school around the corner, not her name and actual address, even though she's in my contacts, and I often use maps to guide me there. Hmm. So um, thanks for the feedback, and I think in this case, yeah, it is kind of creepy. <laughs> so I... And that these suggestions coming up, it's like, you know, I do this every day. I don't know if I really want you to remind me of it. Like, you know, go to the store or go here or go yeah, yeah. there. I, so, I, I kind of like it. I mean, when I get into my car, uh, I don't mean to discount that that it would come across creepy to, to some. But, you know, like when I get into my car on, you know, Wednesday afternoon, which is when I usually go for a quick chiropractic adjustment, my car says, you know, hey, or Apple. I mean, it's Apple Maps via CarPlay says, hey, you want directions to your chiropractor? And it's like, yeah, that's perfect. Great. You know, because I don't even put my chiropractor's address in my calendar. I know where I'm mm -hmm. going. I do it every week. I just put it, I just write Cairo. That's it, you know, and, and it, it gets me there. But or it, but it's because it knows, right, from my habits. As I understand it, if Apple's to be believed, and I think we can, I'm choosing to believe them in, in this regard, and I think that's a safe choice. All of this information is stored locally on my phone. It's not like the cloud is involved in any of this. But I and I don't know how to turn it off, but I know that there are things we can do to turn it off. And the reason I don't know how to turn it off is because I don't want it off on mine. But if we go in to uh, oh shoot, where's my where's my iPhone here? If we go in to settings on the iPhone, right? And then go to uh, Siri and search. This is one place that we could do this, right? And so uh, if you go, you have suggestions from Apple about halfway down uh, on the sort of on the first screen there. And you can uh, have it show notifications with suggestions. I'm not sure if this is what it's going to be or not. You're going to need to do some testing on this that because that's just because I don't want to turn it off on my phone. So that's one place to do it. But also you get to go down and tell Siri what apps feed it data that it would then suggest from. So if we go down to maps, we can say we can turn off the learn from this app option. Right. Ooh. Right. And and then we can turn off granularly suggestions for this app. Right. So my guess is that this is where you're you're going to want to turn this stuff off uh, is mm -hmm. is there. There's one other place that we might want to look, and that would be in settings, privacy and location services. Right. If you scroll all the way to the bottom and go to system services and then go uh, all the way to the sort of the bottom of that and go to significant locations, you can go in there and then uh, turn off significant locations. My guess is that this also is part of what feeds that little data. So or that little those little alerts and those little notifications. So that's going to be my guess on this stuff. I don't know for certain, but that's going to be my guess on this as where to look.